So in this video, I'm going to outline my top five course management tips that I've learned over the years that's hopefully going to take those big destructive numbers off your scorecard. Okay, let's get cracking. Before we get stuck into this video, if you enjoy it, find some value from it, or simply just learn something, then please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss more of the top five videos we've got coming this year. Oh, for God's sake, Craig, this was the one place you couldn't go. Take score-destroying hazards on each hole out of play. We're far better off being here, in the fairway, or at least on grass, short of the bunker, but hitting one club more than over there in the bunker, hacking out into the fairway and probably costing us one shot. I would usually say to hit a club that stays short of those hazards or hit a club that you're very confident is going to carry that hazard to take it out of play. Maybe I can hook this round the tree and turn it 70 yards and maybe get it on the green. No, always play the percentages and know your limitations. If it feels like a big risk, it's a big red flag that you're probably making the wrong decision. Right, I've got a great lie here. I'm gonna take that pin on right next to that bunker. Again, no, we're not professional golfers. We have not got the accuracy of Rory McIlroy. From the fairway, always just aim for the center of the green. The lie's a bit tight and I've not got much room to play with to that flag. But I've seen Phil Mickelson play these flop shots. No, always play the percentages. In this situation, the shot is to just knock it 15 foot past the flag and give yourself a putt for par and take double bogey out of the equation. If you take that shot on and we put it in the bunker, then you're gonna make a double bogey at best. Play the percentages and know your limitations. Hundred and twenty seven yards. Always use a rangefinder or a GPS watch. You can't implement any kind of strategy without knowing your yardages to the pin or yardages to hazards to lay up or try and carry them. It's so important that you use some kind of distance device to make sure that you can effectively try and execute a course management strategy. Know your strongest layup distance. There's going to be a time in a round where you're not going to be able to go for a green in the proper amount of shots and knowing your strongest layup distance is really important. With this shot here I could punch it below the branches and try and get as near to the green as possible. But I know that I'm strongest from 115 yards and I'm considerably better from that distance with my 52 than I am from 90 yards in. So actually, it makes a lot more sense for me to just chip out to that yardage. And number one course management tip is you must know how far you hit your clubs. In today's day and age, all uh, clubs tend to have a launch monitor and a simulator studio. You can go in there and do a course bag mapping session or there's GPS devices you can attach to your clubs and they will also tell you how far you hit your clubs. If you don't know exactly how far you hit your clubs, how on earth can you implicate a strategy to get around the golf course? So I have all of my yardages written down on a piece of card and I've got four or five of these duplicates that are in my golf bag so I've always got them as a reference and I can always try and club myself correctly to the shot that I've got in front of me. So number one, know your yardages and probably know your carry yardages. 
So there is my top five course management tips. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. I hope you took something from it. If you did, we've got loads more coming. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on more top five videos coming soon and a whole lot more where you, the subscriber, can get involved. Okay, see you in the next video.